Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. Collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Defense, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Ow. Who? Their leader. Joseph C. They call him the Father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Do this, we do. 
do it my way. Quietly. Calmly. You got it? Fine. Hudson on the door. Watch our backs. Don't let any of these people get in. Rookie? On me. And you? Just try not to do anything stupid. Relax, Sheriff. You're about to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us, take our guns, take our freedom, take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Hold on we will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, you know, there will be no more think. suffering. Oh, fuck it. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. Oh, do not touch that citizen. Hold on and don't stand down. Stand down. Everyone calm down. We knew this moment would come. And we've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Rook, put the cuffs on him. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away.
dispatch. Oh my god. Everything is just fine here. I don't need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. what we need. We will preserve what we have. We will kill all those who stand in our way. And these, the harbingers of doom, will see the truth. We gotta get out of here. Begin the refit! We gotta get out of here. I thought they got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it. We're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then... We're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these... Okay, shh. not for us to judge. Deliver them unto the waters. The cleansing begins tonight. to Eden. Not this one.
This one's not clean. Cleansing John. No, Joseph. You have to love them, John. Do not let your sin prevent that. Bring that one to me. Despite all that you have done, you are not beyond salvation. You're not here by accident or by chance. You are here by the grace of God. You've been given a gift. Now it remains to be seen whether you choose to embrace it or to cast it aside. This one shall reach the atonement. All the gates of Eden shall be shut to the jar. Yes, yes. You will confess. Every sin you've ever committed, no matter how petty, no matter how small, I will pull from you. <sighs> then we'll see if you're worthy of atonement. If we just confess, if we confess right away, we'll be okay, right? No. He'll make it worse. Why? Because confession without pain isn't confession. You'll scream out your sin, and you'll wear it on your flesh before John peels it off of you. It's a beautiful thing. Fucking Peggy's. Show them no mercy. Stay with me. Didn't go through all this trouble just to lose you now. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For I know the plans that I have made for you, declared the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. <laughs> ah, I don't claim to know God's plans, but I know a good thing when I see it. Getting quite a reputation, deputy. You're the first good thing to happen to this valley in a long time. A little help? Are you trying to break your neck? It just seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks. Shit. It's you. <laughs> Sorry, didn't realize. All you've done, might as well add Mover to the list, huh? <laughs> I thought that Eden's Gate confiscated all of this. How kind of fair grave would I be if I didn't have a hidden stash? <laughs> from the best. 
This town has been through a lot, Deputy. We owe you thanks, but... I know you're looking for your people. But the truth is, you ain't the only one in need of help. The pastor and I can only do so much. If you could see about lending a hand, be sure to return the favor. What do you say? <laughs> Ooh. Barry will get you squared away. When you get the chance, come by the church. I'll be there. Hold still. It's supposed to say wrath, not rat. Sin must be exposed so it may be absolved if we hide our sin. We hide ourselves. You will not hide any longer. Your true self will spill out on this floor for all to see. Ah. Perfect. <laughs> if Muhammad won't come to the mountain, then bring the mountain to Muhammad. Let's begin! This might make your atonement easier. Our devoted. We are gathered here to bear witness. for their sins. To those willing to atone for their sins. Will you, Nick Rye, place your hand upon the word of Joseph? Will you, Nick Rye, oh, fuck that? No. I ain't never given in to that psychopath. There it is. Greed. Always thinking of yourself. <laughs> Place your hand upon the word of Joseph. Will you, deputy, place your hand upon the word of Joseph? And renounce your sins and admit your transgressions. And renounce your sins and admit your transgressions. Sir. 
say yes. It's just one word. God! Get Get your shoes ready. Move. Ever stop to think about that? Everyone thinks he's crazy, but he's not. Look around you. This world is on the brink. You can feel it in your bones. Look at the headlines. <laughs> Look who's in charge. <coughs> you want this key? Because you think you're saving people, but they are already safe. We had a plan. You don't understand. You don't believe. You don't care! <laughs> May God have mercy on your soul. <coughs> Cells in these walls for days just won't let up. Here he kicked open a hornet's nest. Drugs on the road! Damn it! Melly! Drunk, I need you up on that wall. Rogers, there's an Arkweller somewhere inside. Footy was using it last. Get on it. Now you're with me. Let's start collecting scrap. You have to pull the doors off some of the cells. Do it! Now hop too! We ain't got much time! Any problems? No. A couple of the Peggy scaled the wall, but we got him. Door. That doesn't look too bad. He'll be alright. Just keep pressure on it. You know, I was gonna retire last year. Just worried I'd get bored. Are you gonna introduce us, or we're just gonna stand around here all awkward and shit? Language! Oh, fuck off, Virgil. Not today. I have told you a vulgar mind is a sign of... You're not wearing your button! No, I'm not wearing it. I'll need a casualty report. We're, we're cougars! We're really not. Look, I'm wearing my button. The sheriff is wearing his button. This person... I'm sorry, who is this? This is one of my deputies. I thought you said your deputies were taken. Well, this one wasn't. Been giving Eden's Gate a hell of a time from what I hear. That's so. Well, I hope you plan on pitching in. No room for freeloaders. <laughs> oh, Tracy's all right when she gets to know you. She's right about the work, though. There's plenty to be done around here. Just ask around. Good to have you back, Rook. Okay, then. started scrambling around. All the doors started closing, locking us inside. I, I, I thought I was gonna be down here forever. All, all because of him. Him. That fucking piece of shit! 
He would come down here, and he would just stand there and watch. We were begging for mercy, and he would just fucking watch. people down here with me. We are gonna get them out. And then we are gonna burn this whole fucking place down. Help me. Or stay out of my way. <laughs> hey. God damn. I ain't never seen anything like that before. <laughs> I knew we saved you for a reason. Hey. You gave us something back we thought we'd never have again. Hope. Whatever happens next, we're with you. Hey. That was a hell of a job, Brooke. The way I see it, you're the one in charge now. And if you ever need anything, just let me know. Seal has been opened. My brother John was loved by few, feared by many, misunderstood by all except me. John was not born a monster. He was just a child when our family was torn apart. He was loving, kind, and full of joy. He was easily preyed upon. John was not perfect. And sometimes he was not even good. But he was my brother. And those responsible for his death will be punished. I promise you that. into our home, into our heart. Trust in the path and you'll find the answers you seek. Even those who fight against us seek salvation. We are proof of that. We all need guidance in times like these. So we must be strong. We must be vigilant. Now you'll see. Now you'll truly understand. Because those on the outside will see what we have built here together in our new Eden. Love. And they will come, and they will try to take from us all that we have built. They judge me, and judge us. The things that we've done. People say that I'm crazy. But when you wake up in the morning, you look at the same news that I do. This is the world? This? This is the world we built for our children? Communities being torn apart? Walls being erected? The 
because leaders are too impotent to act. Bullies are too adult to lead righteously. I did not ask for this. Mankind is weak and vulnerable. And we are hurtling towards our destruction and no one is willing to do anything about it. I can see that. You can see. But we are not crazy. So what are we supposed to do? We just sit back and await the inevitable? claimed to be a perfect man, but I saw what was coming and I chose to act, to lead, because society is broken, and the only way forward is to go back to the way things once were, innocent and pure, so safe and protected in our Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of us. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. A couple didn't make it back. Boy anybody, said... Anybody grab her? Grady, supposedly, but... Well, where the hell's Grady? Ah, oh, Jesus. Now, you just... You just relax. Lie back. I'll see you in the morning. Christ. You come out of the bliss too fast. Shit's liable to scramble your fucking brains. Don't you understand what we're trying to build? Or do you just not care? I watch you run this way and that, inflicting violence on those who wish no harm upon you. They're at peace here. They want to be here. I know you have your doubts. This is the only way the story ends. Nothing you can do can change that. Your friends on the outside, they're controlled by fear. They don't understand. But he does. He'll show you. Hey, Rook. Come on. Come on, it's okay. I know you're here to take me back. It's okay. She knows. Everybody knows. You think you're doing the right thing. You think I need to be rescued. But I don't. I don't want to go back. Have you, have you ever stopped and looked at how your life's turned out? I mean, what you've actually done with it, you know? Um, we're told we can be anything, right? Uh, a famous singer, a Hall of Famer, a movie star. We're all gonna be a success, Rook. But no, that's, that's just not true. We live mundane lives, just doing what someone else tells us to do. 
day after day. <clears throat> Everybody thinks they have free will, but come on, when's the last time you did something that wasn't required? Demanded. Nah, Rook. We don't live our lives. We live theirs. And we think we have free will. But that is just a lie. An illusion. Oh, oh man. I am so done with that. I am done with being the yes man. I am done with being the errand boy. And I am done with being the garbage collector. I am so done. Because if that is real life, then what is the point? This place gave me the chance to become something I thought I could never be. the only thing that really matters happiness Did you think you could just continue to do what you wanted without consequences? I've been reasonable, I've been fair. But you were just so selfish! You were someone to leave that didn't want to go. <laughs> also, you could be what? A hero? Do you know what hubris is? Arrogance before the gods. The Greeks saw it as a dangerous form of pride that invoked the goddess Nemesis, who would seek retribution. I win this hand. You have to wear a button. What do you say? <sighs> Straight flush. If violence is the only language you choose to speak, I'll speak your language. And when their blood is on your hands... And when their blood is on your hands, 
We'll see how heroic you feel. We'll see how heroic you feel. What are you doing? I'm sorry to have to do this. I'm sorry to have to do this. I wanted there to be another way. I wanted there to be another way. But you made your choice. But you made your choice. Who opened the doors? Oh shit, they're inside. I told you. I didn't want to leave. This is what she does. Takes. Destroys. Find her. Kill her. Don't let her get away with this. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I found was blind. Your sheriff kept you from walking the path, but now he understands its purpose. And I'll join our family in Eden. And if you try to stop him... <laughs> you still don't understand. You don't know what it is you're doing, do you? Joseph believes he's our savior. But you will be the one who decides what happens. You are the start. You'll be the end. It was always gonna happen this way. You'll walk the path. <laughs> You'll rescue your sheriff. You'll be the hero. And then you'll choose. You look like hell. Yeah, well, I feel like it too. Need help getting back inside? Hell no, I'll manage. I didn't think you could pull this off. You saved a lot of people here today, Rook. Don't forget that. Hey, can you give me a hand? Better go. You know, there was a moment just before you arrived. I just lost all hope. I couldn't see a way out. But you led the way. A lot of good people died, but everyone here, all of us, we're alive because of you. And I'm 
damn proud of you. Now I want you to find that goddamn Joseph seed, bring him to justice, or put him in the ground. That's an order, deputy. A seal has been opened. My faith. My faith. She was not the first to carry that name, but she was the most devoted. She was like many of you when she came to me. Broken. Lost. I put my faith inside her. And she became angelic. Perfect. And those sinners took her away from us. It is faith that holds us together. And without it, we are lost. So we must never lose faith. And those that try to harm us will suffer. And when the Lamb broke the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of the martyrs slain because of the word of God. You made martyrs of my family. And I am prepared to do the same to yours. But God is watching us. And he will judge us on what we choose in this moment. I told you that we were living in a world on the brink. For every slight, every injustice, where every choice reveals our sins. And where have those sins led us? Where have those sins led you? Your friends have been taken and tortured. And it's your fault. Countless people have been killed, and it is your fault. The world is on fire, and it's your fault. Was it worth it? Was it? When are you going to realize that every problem cannot be solved with a bullet? When you first came here, I gave you the choice to walk away. You chose not to. In the face of God, I'm making you that offer one last time. Put down your guns. You take your friends. You leave me my flock. And you go in peace. Go in peace. You're fucking insane. You see? We never should have been here in the first place. You know what to do, Rook.
is watching. Every slight, every injustice, and every choice reveals our sin. John was wrong. Your sin is not wrath. So you'd rather watch the world suffer and burn than swallow your pride. And the Lamb broke the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black, and the moon's under the light. There was silence in heaven. And the seven angels before God were given seven trumpets. And there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. Joseph Seed, you're under arrest. And I heard a great voice from the temple say to the angels, Go your ways, and pour from the vials the wrath of God upon the earth. You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. 
It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it. For years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy. And kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. This means it means the politicians have been silenced. It means the corporations have been erased. It means the world has been cleansed by God's righteous fire. sinners. Every one of us. You, me. <laughs> Even the Father knows deeply of sin. It's a poison that clouds our minds. What if I told you you could be free from sin? What if I told you that everything you ever dreamed could come true? What if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea? freedom from sin can 
can come from the power of just one word. Yes. I am a sinner. Yes. I wish to be unburdened. Yes. I must be redeemed. If you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed. You will confess your sins. And you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate. <laughs>